Hello and welcome back. In this lecture we will look at what a dynamic or AJAX web page is and how it differs from a static web page. The first part is exactly the same. Your browser sends a request to the server which responds with HTML that is rendered in your browser. Then it loads all the CSS, images and JavaScript files referenced in the HTML received from the server. At this point the data you may want to scrape is not loaded yet. It also is not included in the HTML returned from the server so far. This is the main difference between a static web page and a dynamic web page. Now when your browser executes the JavaScript code there is typically one or more requests sent to the server API, which responds with either JSON, XML or HTML snippets. They are then processed by the JavaScript client code and affect the HTML of the site. An indicator that you are dealing with a dynamic or AJAX web page is some form of a loading icon or something like this and when the page request is finalized but still the data is not displayed yet. To be sure you can look in the HTML return from the server and search for the data you want to scrape. If it is contained there then you do have a static page. If it's not contained there you do have some form of a dynamic or AJAX page. In the next lecture we look at the Unirest Java library for making API requests.